Hey guys, welcome back to Minecraft. This is Civic Dude. And I forgot what episode we're up to, but it's it's getting up there. It's somewhere up there. Anyways, I'm excited to be back, guys. Um, pardon my voice if it's a little a little uh, raspy or asleep. It's uh, rather early in the morning from where I normally record. Uh, actually, <laughs> it's just about the complete opposite time of day from when I normally record. But anyways, I could not resist. I could not resist. So, anyways, uh, what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to fill in this side of my little hallway. Um, what we have right now is a water drop right here that uh, takes me down to our the lower levels in our dungeon, which is pretty much just the the, uh, what you call this thing? Branch mine? Tunnel? You know, that kind of thing. So, I've been pretty busy with this thing. This thing takes a long time to do, by the way. Mainly because all these pine trees take forever to get all the necessary logs. <laughs> logs. Anyways, I've been pretty busy. I only have it railed it to there, but I have it, I have a, a path, a path, a path, laid, going pretty far, anyways, okay, but what we're going to do today is we're going to uh, take a look at the tree farm, which is coming along quite nicely, um, I've added birch trees and pine trees, and uh, it's not quite done yet. I need to collect some more glowstone from the nether. But it's mostly done. Um, and then we're going to also create a piston elevator. Um, pretty much just like Ethos. Uh, classic piston elevator. Um, to take us back up. So instead of falling and then having to run back up, we'll just have another... Just over here a little bit, we'll have a piston elevator. And I'll go back up real quick to show you where it's going to be. And while I'm doing that, I want to uh, take a timeout for serious time. And I want to say a big, big thank you to uh, Armitage. He uh, liked my latest uh, Let's Play video and uh, where I uh, mentioned him in it. And... Uh, he liked it and uh, accepted it as a video response, and uh, you know he didn't have to do that. I didn't. I didn't, uh, I didn't call. I didn't uh, message him and you know ask him to do that or anything. He just decided to do that, and so um, as a result of that, you know a few, a few uh, new subscribers joined on to the uh, the Civic Dude team here, and uh, I just want to say a big. Thank you to him, and uh, also at the same time, a big welcome to you new subscribers. And uh, I'll do my best to keep this entertaining, and uh, moving on. So, anyways, uh, what we are going to do is get some food real quick, because I'm hungry. I need some food. And let's go take a look at the tree farm. Sprint. Sprint, sprint. So, yeah, again, thank you to Armitage, and uh, welcome new subscribers. Uh, it's going to be fun. Okay, so you remember I had the jungle trees last time, and the oak trees, and uh, what you haven't seen is the glowstone and the stop blocks that I put up there. Just a fence post with an up -down, upside down half, half slab. But I've also added these lower sections here for the birch trees, because they need one more space to grow than the other two. And then even lower than that is the spot for pine trees, because they need even one more to grow. And the reason that ceiling right there is lower is because um, over here, up, up until about here, the... Uh, 
is the surface, and so I'm going to have to do some terraforming on the surface to get it to look right in order to raise the roof by one. Raise the roof. So anyways, that is that. It's coming along nicely. I'm quite excited with it, uh, by it. There's, uh, you know, six trees per, per kind. And, uh, it's not a huge tree farm, but it suits, suits me. Um, it does take a while to get all of the dark wood that I need with just six trees. So I did add, <laughs> over at my old, old, uh, hidey hole, I added a bunch of trees just randomly thrown around. So anyways, what we're going to do is have the tree farm, not the tree farm, what am I saying, the piston elevator come up right here with a hidden piston door basically just like this. And it's going to uh, pretty much do exactly the same thing, or look exactly the same as uh, what am I trying to say? As this side right, right over here. Just mirroring it, basically. Uh, because I like symmetry, guys. I like it. It pleases me. So, we're going to have piston door right here. Is that right? Yeah, piston door right here. And you're going to come up right here. Is that right? Come up right here. Maybe a staircase up to there. And then what you're going to do is step on a pressure plate right here. No, no, no. Sorry. When you get to the top, it's going to automatically open the piston door. And then whenever you get onto this side, there's going to be a pressure plate that closes it. That's what it's going to do. Okay. So, all this means that we need to do some digging. It's going to need to be... Let's see. What is it? I think it's a 4x4 four four from right here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4 by 4 deep. And this is going to take a while. A while. Why are you saying it funny? I'm not just saying it with an H. A while. Let's see. I should be coming out. There we go. Pretty close. Okay. Now let me get the chords. Let me get the X and Z coordinates. 602, 643. What the? What the? 602, 643. Duh. <laughs> uh. Okay, I'm just gonna dig over real quick. Ooh. Hello, iron. You are always welcome. Okay. Now, what I did was dig over I think one this way and two the other way. So I figured what we could do is we could enter it this way and it would shoot us up and then we'd exit it this way. 
So it's going to be a little bit different than Ethos. He has it entering and exiting the same way. But, I don't know, it seemed kind of weird to me to enter it this Well, I don't know. Do, do, do. Well, hmm. No, let's do it that way. Let's let's, let's enter it and exit it the same way. I'm trying to think of uh, something to do down here because I want this to be much more developed than it is down here. So, yeah, we're going to enter it here and exit it up there, same direction. That's what we're going to do, and that's how it's going to be. So it's going to be awesome. Awesome! Sorry, guys. It's early. It's really early. Oh, okay, so let's see. I feel I feel so unprepared. Let us make our way back to the top. And we shall get started on this. Hey guys, we got it, most of it all dug out. There might be a couple spots where I have to dig a little bit more, but uh, for the most part, it is dug out. And now we're ready to place our stairs, pistons, and such and such. Okay, so if you followed Ethos tutorial, uh, this one's going to be just a little bit different because it's going to go uh, basically spiral the opposite direction that his did, which is cool with me. So, okay. Basically the way that he did it was 
he put this pattern down right here where he put blocks and then the piston and then he did this all the way up so we're just going to keep doing this and get it all the way done so stick around because I'm gonna I think I'm gonna speed this up because you guys don't want to watch all this do you? it's kind of boring but anyways let me explain it so the way that this works is you step on a pressure plate right here this piston fires and then the next one fires and then the next one fires so on and so on and it pushes you up staircases and uh, I want to eventually change these out for nether brick stairs but I haven't found any I haven't found the nether fortress yet so we'll just have to use regular stairs for now but that's okay not a big deal guys not a big deal okay so yeah, I'm going to be doing this for a few minutes, and I will get back to you when I'm done. Okay, so we've gotten all the blocks placed for the basic framework. Um, let me show you real quick. You can see that we I went with uh, different color wool for the inside of this thing. Um, doing some testing, it looked kind of cool. Um, with what I want to do with this to have a the it, it, I just want to make the insides of the walls look like they were changing color I don't know seemed like a cool idea at the time so I went with it but anyways now what we have to do is place down the staircases so let me make my way back to the top real quick and we'll get started on that and yeah, I'm probably going to do the same thing. I'll just catch up with you after I'm done with the staircases. Because this is very repetitive, by the way. Okay, there we go. So, last one is going to push you up right there. Yeah, that's right. Okay, I'll see you guys in a minute. Okay, now for the wiring. And just like Ethos video, or his piston staircase, sorry, we're going to do uh, one redstone dust above the pistons, then a block, and then a repeater, if I can just get over there. And a repeater is always set to two. Redstone dust, block, repeater, dust block and repeater so this is the basic pattern that you uh, copy and paste over and over and over again in this in this build so it's a uh, pretty easy to do not too much to this one but it works like a charm and so that's why and um, the reason I chose Ethos uh, elevator is because um, I don't need an up and down elevator. I just need an up because I already have my water break to go down. So I don't I don't really need an up and down elevator. I know there's different kinds of zipper style elevators that you can do. Oh, that's supposed to be. There's different kinds of elevators that will go up and down, but I don't need that. So. This one works just fine for me. So, okay guys, I will catch back up with you after I'm done with this. Got a ways to go. Okay, see you in a sec. Okay guys, we got it all wired up. And we can't test it yet because we don't have the first piston wired up. So, let's go back downstairs surveying all of the wiring. And uh, let's wire up the bottom piston. Now I'm going to do something a little different than what Etho did in his elevator. Um, in his elevator, he used uh, glowstone for lighting, and the reason he did, the reason he didn't think to do what I'm going to do is because it wasn't in the game yet. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to have redstone lamps, you know, one per level, that light up as you get to that level. So it's pretty cool. Um, I can show you my test world. Actually, I'll do that right now. 
So let me show you real quick. Okay, so here's what it looks like once completed. Nice tower of power there. And uh, there's the redstone lamps. Let me show you how it works. This one go. This one spins the opposite way, but that's okay. You still get the idea. Okay, so here we go. Notice that all the redstone lamps are lighting up. And I thought it'd be pretty cool to have like a finish, finish line type thing. Now watch this. This pist this door right here opens whenever you get to the top, and whenever you step out closes. Isn't that pretty cool? So that's going to be what we're going to do. Uh, there's basically an RRS nor latch in the back that turns on the two redstone lamp lights and opens the door once you get to the top. So that's what it looks like all finished. Let's get back to the Let's Play world and actually do it. And actually before we do that let me check the wiring on the very bottom just to make sure I don't mess it up okay so do, 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 do. Up, 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 up. okay I can do that okay so let's see and we're gonna have to forego the uh, redstone lamps for now because I don't have enough glowstone. I'm gonna have to make another trip to the nether. So we're gonna have another episode coming up. Probably next. Probably next episode. I'll just put dirt there for now. Pressure plate. Okay. Now let's dig around here. And we'll see what we can do. Okay, so I need that, and then, oh jeez, come on, get it, there we go, repeater, redstone, and let's see, do 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 do. Let's go up one here, up another one there, and let's see, am I doing this right? I can never remember. Okay, I think this needs to be gone, and then like, oh sweet, yeah, that makes it look just like the others. Doesn't it? Anyways, what I'm thinking is this, like that, not that, not that, that, right there. And then uh, we can obviously hide that, oh wait, no we can't hide any of it. Why did nothing else fire? That is not just supposed to happen. Hmm, that's weird, because all of them should have fired. So why didn't they fire? Uh, let's check the other world. Like I said, I've said this before, guys, I'm not a redstone genius, so... Uh... Oh. Hey, okay. Yeah, that's what it is, I'm not high enough. I gotta power the block above the piston. Being this block. Okay. Not a big deal. All I gotta do is bring it up one. And the reason I'm setting this one and the other repeater at the bottom to four is because that gives me enough time to get set. And you can hear how they're starting to go. Let's try it. And 
there we go. That is a working piston elevator. Now all I have to do is finish out the top, or finish out the room that I'm finishing with the checkered flag, fill in any holes, and then go to the nether and get bricks and glowstone. So I think I'm going to call it for this episode. We're going to do all that in the next episode. And then I'll finish wiring up the door here and the redstone lamps as well. But uh, anyways, guys, I want to thank you for watching. This has been a fun episode. Um, I'm glad this thing actually works. There's always a chance that you'll get some kind of camera filming glue, uh, jinx and it won't work while it's on camera. But it worked this time, so I'm happy. And the only thing I don't like about it is that right there. You have to be right all the way into the block. But that's okay. I'll work with it. Okay, guys. I want to thank you for watching. And, again, thanks to all, new, all the new subscribers. And big thanks again to Armitage for mentioning me. Or not mentioning me, but liking my video. Um, that meant a lot to me, Armitage. Thank you very much. Anyways, I will see you guys next time.